Hello. Today we're going to watch a first grade missing add-in problem done by the dog Scoop. And she's going to be in action with her cousin Tucker. And they're going to be drinking water. So let's watch a video and then we're going to do a math problem. So here's today's problem. Scoop and Tucker finish the water bowl. It contained nine sips of water. Scoop sipped some water. Then Tucker took five sips of water. How many sips did Scoop take? So the first thing I want to do is I want to write a target sentence because I need to know what my answer is about. I need to make sense of my problem. So the question is, how many sips did Scoop take? So my answer needs to be about sips. So my target sentence is going to be blank, sips. If I don't know how to spell sips, I'm going to look at the word, write in the problem, and copy down the letters. So I need to know how many sips Scoop took. So I'm going to start off by drawing a 10 frame because I find that helpful. So I draw a rectangle, cut it in half, and then divide it into five equal pieces by drawing four lines. So now I have a 10 frame to work with, and in my problem, um, the bowl started out full. So I really believe that 9 is my whole. So I know the bowl had 9 sips in it, and I'm going to draw circles in there to represent the sips in the bowl. And I like using a 10 frame because I know that 9 is 1 less than 10, so I should have one empty spot. Hmm. So now, Scoop sips some water. So I have nine, and Scoop sips some, and I have no idea how much Scoop sipped. That's what we're trying to find out. But I know Tucker also sips some water. So I think those are gonna be our parts. Scoop some is gonna be our part, and Tucker's five sips are gonna be a part. So it seems like Scoop and Tucker's five sips should make nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross off Tucker's sips. That's one, two, three, four, five. And in fact, since I used the 10 frame, I could have just crossed them all off at once. So now it looks like I have one, two, three, four left. So I believe my answer is four sips, but I'm going to check my math. And in my question, Scoop had some water. Tucker took five sips, and the total bowl had nine. When I write a subtraction equation, my total always goes first, and we're going to take away Tucker's five sips, that's what subtraction means, to find out that Scoop had only four sips. So really, the missing add-on is the same thing as an answer to a subtraction equation. Now I can use my number path to be able to solve this two different ways. I could start at 5 and figure out how many jumps it takes to get to 9, so I could count up, and that took 4 jumps. Remember, I'm counting my hops, not the numbers, which again matches up. Or I could start at 9, if I'm doing subtraction, and take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, meaning my answer has to be 4. So there are many different ways I can solve a missing add-on problem, but for me the most important part is to know which is the whole and who are the two parts. Once I figure that out, I can write any equation to match. The last thing I need to do is tell my answer. My answer was four sips. So I'm gonna make sure I write it right back in my target. You could use many different models. You could use linking cubes to draw this situation. I could draw five linking cubes, and I could draw nine linking cubes, and that would show me, I want to make sure they match up perfectly, and again, that's going to show me my difference of scoops for sips. 
You could use a five group, you could use a 10 frame, you could use linking cubes, but we want to show some model. So let's learn a new fact. Did you know that water, water is everywhere? It makes up over 70% of the earth, and it also, at certain times, makes up over 70% of you. Between well over half your body is made of water. Have a good day, first graders.